वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो दिस इज लेक्चर नंबर सेवेंटी ऑलरेडी सिक्सटी नाइन लेक्चर कवर टू सॉल्व दिस सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दी बुक वेक्टर एनालिसिस बाय एम आर स्पाइज यू नो दिस बुक इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर फिजिक्स एज वेल एज फॉर मैथमेटिक्स आल्सो इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर आई आई जैम दैट्स वाई यू डिसाइड टू सॉल्व दिस सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम ऑफ दिस बुक इन दिस वीडियो वॉन्ट टू सॉल्व दिस सप्लीमेंटरी प्रॉब्लम सेवन पॉइंट फोर जीरो टू सेवन पॉइंट फोर वन ऑफ दी चैप्टर सेवन विच कॉन्सिड कार्बोनियर कॉर्डियर सिस्टम In the uh, previous lecture, we already covered the previous chapter. The link will be given in the description box. You can check in the description box for previous lecture also. So let's start to today's question. That is seven point four zero. This says the suppose U V Z are the elliptic cylindrical coordinates where A is a given. For describe the following log size of the written in the as, as the given below. Okay. so you need to know the elliptical cylindrical coordinates the transformation will be x is nothing but a cos hyperbolic u cos v y is nothing but a sin hyperbolic u sin v and z is z okay this is the transformation now go to the question a Where says v is pi by four? This given only v is pi by four. So what is the value of x? X will be a. A is given four. So four cos hyperbolic u cos pi by four. Similarly, y is nothing but four sin hyperbolic u sin pi by four. What is the value of cos pi by four? By root two. So this is four by root two cos hyperbolic u. And this is four by root two sine hyperbolic u. Simple. And z is nothing but z. So if you square and subtract, that is x square minus y square. What will be the value? That is four by root two whole square taken as a common. And within bracket cos hyperbolic square u minus sine hyperbolic square u. You know very well that is that is the for for two and this is sixteen that is the eight and this will be one so this gives you eight. So x square minus y square gives you eight. This is nothing but the equation of the hyperbolic cylinder because there is z is not constant z is variable so this is hyperbolic cylinder hyperbolic cylinder. This is the equation of hyperbolic cylinder. I think clear. Go to the next one that is called B. For B, given u is zero and z is zero, put this in this equation. In this equation, so you can say x is nothing but a that is four cos hyperbolic u is zero and cos v. Similarly, you can calculate this one. Cos hyperbolic x, you know, this is nothing but e to the power x plus e to the power minus x by two. So what is the value of cos hyperbolic zero? So if you put zero here, e to the power zero is one, and e to the power zero is also one. So one plus one by two, that is nothing but one. So this is one. So this is four cos b. Similarly, y is nothing but four sin hyperbolic zero and sin b. What is the value of sine hyperbolic zero? Sine hyperbolic x is nothing but e to the power x minus e to the power minus x by two. If you put the x is zero, that is sine hyperbolic zero is e to the power zero is one minus e to the power minus zero is one. So this becomes zero. So this is nothing but zero, and z will be zero. So you can say that is x is equal to uh, four cos v. And the maximum value, cos v maximum value is one, and minimum value is minus one. So the maximum value x is plus four, and minimum value this is maximum, and minimum value is minus four. This is minimum, right? And y and z always zero. So this is nothing but a straight line. Like if this is a x-axis, then line joining. This is a x-axis. That is the Uh, if we take this is a x axis, x axis, y axis, z axis. The x is varies minus four to plus four. So the line connected from minus four to plus four. This is the equation. This is plus four. This is minus four. So you can say this is nothing but the line joining, joining minus four 
जीरो जीरो टू प्लस फोर जीरो जीरो क्लियर सो दिस इज द लाइन जॉइनिंग स्ट्रेट लाइन गो टू द नेक्स्ट वन दैट इज सी फॉर सी यू कैन सी हेयर यू इज एल एन टू ओके सो व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ व्हाट इज द वैल्यू ऑफ कॉस हाइपरबोलिक यू सो दिस इज नथिंग बट ई टू दावर एल एन टू प्लस ई टू दावर माइनस एल एन टू बाय टू सो दिस टू आर इंटरचेंज सो टू टू दावर एल एन टू प्लस दिस इज टू टू दावर माइनस वन टू दावर माइनस वन टू दावर एल एन टू नो दिस इज एल एन ई एल एन ई बाय टू एल एन ई इज वन सो टू प्लस टू दावर वन टू दैट इज फाइव बाय फोर फाइव बाय टू दैट इज फाइव बाय फोर Similarly, sine hyperbolic u is nothing but uh, e to the power l n two minus e to the power minus l n two by two. So this is two minus half by two. That is three by four. So you got some cos hyperbolic u, sine hyperbolic u. Then the value of x x is nothing but uh, x is nothing but a. cos hyperbolic u cos v so cos hyperbolic u is 5 by 4 and a is 4 so this become 5 cos v similarly y is a sin hyperbolic u cos v so uh, a is 4 and this is 3 by 4 so this become 3 cos v sin v this is sin sin v so this is sin v so you can say that is x square by 5 square Plus y square by three square, x square by five square, y square by three square is sine square plus cos square, which is one. And this is the equation of a ellipse. At z z z value is two. So this is equation equation of ellipse ellipse at z equals to two. So this is the equation of ellipse at z equals to two. Right. So go to the next one. That is the d. For question D, uh, that said v is equals to zero and z is equals to zero. So x will be uh, a a is four cos hyperbolic u and cos v is zero. So cos zero is one. So this is four uh, cos hyperbolic u and y is nothing but four sine hyperbolic u is zero and no no uh, v is zero. U is not zero. V is Zero. U and sine zero. Sine zero is zero, so this becomes zero, and z will be zero. So you can see y and z both are the zero, and x value is this. And you know cos hyperbolic is always greater than equal to zero, so this becomes greater than equal to four. So x will be greater than equal to four, y will be zero, z will be zero. So this is nothing but a straight line from x zero to Uh, forward side. This is a straight line from x value zero to a four to forward, right? So this is a straight line. Straight line. Clear? I think clear. Go to the next one. Next question five point four one says that is U V Z are parabolic cylindrical coordinate. For parabolic cylindrical coordinate, the equation will be x is half u square minus v square. And y is u v, and z is z. This is the transformation equation from parabolic coordinate to Cartesian coordinate. Graph the curve region described is following this. So for question A, u is given as two, z is two, zero, z is two, zero, zero. So put the value u in this equation. X will be half two square is four minus v square is not given. And y is u is two uh, u put as a two so this is two v and z will be zero. Put this value in this equation you get x is half four minus v square. V square is nothing but y square by four. Y square by four. So x two x is equal to four minus y square by four. So eight x equal to sixteen minus y square. So y square equal to minus 8x plus 16. That is taken minus 8 as common. So x minus 2. Okay. So this is the equation of parabola. This is nothing but the equation of parabola 
with coordinate minus x is to y is 0 so this is the and like that okay this is the equation of parabola equation of parabola and this point obviously 2 comma 0 right so go to the next one that is b uh, says v is equals to 1 z equals to 2 so x is nothing but half u square minus v is 1 and y is nothing but u v u and v is 1 and z is 2 so put this u value in this equation so you get x equals to half and um, u square that is y square minus 1 so 2x equals to y square minus 1 so y square equal to 2x plus 1 2x plus 1 this is the solution uh, this is also a equation of the parabola right so this is also equation of parabola this is the equation of parabola parabola at z equals to 2 with uh, if you want to wants to know the coordinate with pole that is the and y square root 4x this uh, and the pole will be uh, x is minus half x is minus half and y is 0 so this will be like that this is minus half comma 0 right so x axis and y axis this is a parabola right go to the next one that is c for c you can see here uh, that is oh, u is uh, changes from minus uh, 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 so take u is 1 so if you take u 1 so x can be written as half u square minus v square that is 1 minus v square and y is nothing but u v u is 1 so this will be v, v and z is given is 0 as well so if you put here so you get x x half 1 minus y square that is 2x equal to half minus y square that is y square is nothing but y square is nothing but 1 minus 2x right y square is nothing but 2x if you take u is maximum value that is 2 so x will be half u square minus v square that is 4 minus v square and y equal to uv that is 2 u uh, 2 2 v and z equals to 0 put this v value in here so x will be x half 4 minus v square v square equal to y square by 4 so this is 2x equals to 4 minus y square by 4 so this is nothing but 8x equal to 16 minus y square so y square is nothing but minus 8x minus 2 right next if you put uh, v is 2 so if you put v is 2 v is equals to 2 so x is nothing but half u square minus v square that is 4 and y is u v that is 2 2 u right and z is obviously 0 put this value in this equation x is equal to half u square is nothing but y square by 4 minus 4 that is 8x equals to 2x equal to y square by 4 minus 4 that is 8x equal to y square minus 16 so y square is equal to nothing but 8x plus 2 okay and next one put v is equals to 3 M maximum value v is 3 so x will be half u square minus v square is 9 and y is u v that is the 3 u and z will be 0 put this value here x will be half u square is nothing but y square by 9 minus 9 that is 2 x equals to y square by 9 minus 9 that is 18 x equal to y square minus 81 that is y square equal to 18 x plus 81 so if you take 18 common x so this will be 9 by 2 this is the y square so i think clear the uh, area bounded by this parabola 
deep so area bounded bounded by the four parabola parabola are number one y square equal to one minus two x y square equal to one minus two x next one uh, y square equal to minus eight minus eight x minus two then y square equal to eight uh, x plus two and next one is y square equal to 18 x plus 9 by 2 this four uh, parabola given the boundary equation with uh, uh, including boundary including or include including boundary okay this is the answer of this question number d says same question you can see here the question are not defined with the, the this equal sign is not here right so this equal sign not here meaning the the boundary not included so the answer will be the same the same answer for question d same as question c question c with with without boundary excluding boundary excluding boundary because there is no equal symbol excluding boundary i think clear if there is any problem you must go to the comment box and comment in the comment box and this is all about me this is my sorry this is my contact details you must contact with my whatsapp number regarding any physics related question and this is my youtube channel details go to this channel you get the all the videos which already uploaded share this video to your friends so that he or she also get benefit from this video subscribe this channel if you new in this channel and press the bell icon to get the notification of upcoming video i when i will be uploaded next video so take care we will meet in the next video as soon as possible thank you